Yes, it's a green Pennsylvania, green and gold. This is a green and gold box. Everybody, thanks for uh, joining another episode of What's in the Box. As you can tell, we have a big one today, and this one is very, very heavy. Not sure what's in here, um, but it's it's a heavy box. So let's get started. Okay, let's take my box cam out. My good old GoPro. And we'll see what's in here now. Okay. Well, more Lionel stuff. Looks like a lot of mini boxes. Actually, some of these were empties, but this thing is so heavy, it's got to be more than that. Looks like a bridge. There is a, oh, that's pretty cool. There's a Zamboni. There's a Zamboni flat car. Um, so, Let's take a look and we'll go from there. All right. Let's push this back, push that over there. Okay, here we go. So we have quite a few of these empty boxes. Um, I guess what happened was my dad just collected boxes or had boxes because obviously if we had the piece, they'd be in here. So these are just empties. So it's a 6257 caboose box. So this is like probably a looks like a post-war box from um 45 to 60 whatever it was 62 63 i have to look at the dates looks like a post-war box this one as well looks like a post-war box this one doesn't say what it's supposed to be on the side let me just close this up again another empty box a larger empty box this one says it's a baggage car 2530 but again there's nothing in here, just empty. So again, he must have collected these empties. Put that there. And this is the last empty box with tissue paper inside for an automatic lumber car. The only thing I could think of is these boxes are for, my dad has one existing train layout in his basement in uh, New Jersey that my mom wanted me to keep up. So maybe that's what the items on this layout right now are actually uh, what go in here. But I don't, I don't think so. But we'll find out later on. Next piece. He has a O and O27 gauge arch under bridge. So that's what it looks like on the box for the car to go underneath the uh, the freight car. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, it's plastic unassembled. So you was you would assemble that. It's a it's a trestle bridge. This would go on top, and the, the uh, track would go over the top of this. I'm not exactly sure what year this is. Hold on. This looks newer. It looks like a newer piece, like it was made in the, the modern era versus the uh, post-war era. Uh, I can't find a date on the box, but yeah, it looks more modern. Yep. Let me put this back over here. Okay. Now we have a Zamboni flat car called the Lionel Lions is the hockey team that's uh, supposed to be here. It's pretty funny. Lionel Lions. Again, this is a modern piece. Uh, number 6-26039. Let's take a look at this. Flat car with Zamboni ice resurfacing, resurfacing machines. Very, very cool looking. So just a nice, nice flat car. And then you have two, the two Zambonis are strapped down. If you don't know what a Zamboni is, if you're not a, a hockey fan or a, a understanding about rinks, Zambonis are what's used to clean the ice. So that's what those are right there. They're going to clean the ice so that they, uh, and the flat car to take them. Let me put this over here. Okay. Another empty box for a tank car this should be the last empty box let's go to the box cam and take a look real quick to see what's left in there 
yeah now now we have larger uh larger boxes they all have items in them that's why they're so heavy at the bottom and it was light at the top so let's start getting into these put the can back over here <coughs> gel pack okay first one is a jersey central fairbanks morse diesel locomotive yet another fairbanks morse this one is re has a retail sticker price on it of six hundred dollars so but again this number is uh six eight six eight seven so it's a modern piece it is not the post-war jersey central which is worth well over a thousand dollars this one's worth six hundred five ninety five actually Let's take a look at this one and see how it, what it looks like. Okay. My dad went nuts with the Fairbanks Morse, as I said before. 84 to 85. So this is a 1984 to 85 model train. So much more modern. Let's see. Oh, and it's not the fair, it's not the, um, Jersey Central colors are like orange and black, I think. The old one, this is a, a different color. This is like a green and gold Jersey Central. Let's take this one out right here. This looks very, very pretty. Good, nice coloring. And a big engine, a heavy engine. Try not to get too my fingerprints on it. But that's what that looks like right there. Green and gold with the red RR symbol on it. Looks good. 86, 87. It's got the uh, Statue of Liberty as the logo right there. Very cool. Gently. Okay, next one. I'm going to guess this is also Jersey Central. Uh, Fairbanks Morse. Yes, this is the Southern Fairbanks Morse. Very dusty on top. Another modern era piece. This, I think, is uh, seven. We had seven in one box, two in the other box. Is nine, ten. Oh, this is the 11th Fairbanks Morse, both post-war and modern. Modern is the post-General Mills era, I'm calling it, but I have to go back. General Mills? General, yeah, General Mills. This is supposed to be a Southern. Southerns are green. The Southern F3 is green. I'm not sure what color this one is. We'll have a look and see. Oh. That was the truck, not the top. I didn't damage anything. And yes, the green Southern. I, I love this color scheme. Look at the green and gold on this. There's an F3 to the, as you know, the F3s from the 1950s were all green and gold. But look at that color pattern with the silver white in the bottom. Very, very beautiful engine, right? Another Fairbanks Morse. Let me put it back over here. Number 8301. This one does not have a price on it, but it looks very, very similar to the Jersey Central that was worth $595. Worth meaning that's what the price tag on the box was. Not necessarily what my dad paid for it, but what the price tag says. Okay, next box. Uh, another one, huge. Pennsylvania Fairbanks Morse, another one, Train Master. And this says uh, 18307. Let's take a look. It says for ages eight and up. I don't think you'd let your eight year old play with something this nice. Let's see. This box, I don't want to damage the box, so I'm trying to open it up gently. There we go. Okay. I assume it's been opened before, but who knows? I, I'm assuming if he bought anything online, he would open it when he got it just to verify what it was, but I don't know. Yeah, the plastic's off the uh, piece. So, okay. Again, Train Master. Beautiful. This was the Pennsylvania, so it's going to be maroon or green. I don't know. Let's see. Maroon or green, normally out of Pennsylvania. Tuscan, I'm sorry, Tuscan, not, not maroon. Maroon is the color top of the um, Lackawanna. 
Yes, it's a green Pennsylvania, green and gold. This is a green and gold box. Uh, 8699 Pennsylvania Trainmaster, another great looking engine. My dad went Fairbanks Morse crazy as he got older. Okay, next one. This one is lighter. It says Santa Fe F3 unit. Let's take a look. Oh, oof, that was close. Dusty top. F3A. Depart with your train of thought. Nice. Let's see what this one's looking like. Very light. So it's a... It's another Santa Fe B unit, 200A. This is the third one. There was two in the last box and one in this box. So I don't know what he was doing with these. By the way, what I wanted to show you from the last, uh, the last video. Remember when I said like um, the when General Mills made these in China versus when they were made in, in, New, in Harris in New Jersey and other places Lionel made them. See like the top, the vents, how they're metal. When you get to the, the era of the 1970s through mid 80s, they made this all plastic. They made a mold that was all plastic. Same thing with these metal ladders on the side, like this metal ladder right here. Do you see it? They were made plastic. So they stopped doing the ornamentation to make it cheaper with a few, with a, um, injection mold and they just don't look nearly as nice same with the vent windows they would never have these you know cool vent windows these um uh, plastic windows for the for the b unit but just wanted to point that out okay this is an arch under bridge for 17 dollars um the box is sealed the box is sealed. I'm not even, even going to open it. Um, this is the same as the other bridge I had. So instead of opening this one as well, as keep it closed. But it's the same thing. It's never been opened. It's a sealed box. And it's listed at $17 right there. I am going to take the box cam once again and go back and show you what we have left. So we have some big boxes and one more. It looks like three left. Two smaller ones on top of a large one. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so we have a Series A. Let's, looks like I can see what it says. A 6464 Series X 3-pack. New Haven, Alaska, and NYC being New York Central. Let's take a look in here and see what we have going on. Oh, okay, there's um, three smaller boxes in there. I'm not sure if these are going to be rolling freight or non-motorized units or what they are. Well, these don't want to come out either. They do not want to come out. Okay, let's see if I can get them without doing any box damage. That's the most important thing. Is let's go to this side. Here we go. And I will just push them through to make, make things go easy. Oh, and they're boxcars. So we have uh, the Alaska and Alaska boxcar, it looks like, right there. And then this is going to be your your New Haven, your NH boxcar, right there. And this is going to be your New York Central boxcar. So these all came together in one pack. You bought them You bought them some, some rolling freight together at one time. Um, I'm not going to take these out because uh, they're new and uh, they've never been opened. They're sealed off, so there's no reason to take them out of the box. That's what you have going on there. And then we have one more box of the same. So again, this is the same thing. I don't know. This one is Rio Grande, Santa Fe, and New Haven. Listed at $114.95. This has never been opened before. So it's three of the same box. It's three box cars like the last box of rolling freight. Again, if it's sealed, factory sealed, I'm not going to take it out of the box. It'll just lose value for doing that. So I'm going to leave it in here and I'll find pictures of these online and post them at the end for the valuation. 
Okay, down to our last last box now. This is heavy. This is very heavy. And it's kind of beat up the boxes. Santa Fe F3 diesels. Okay, this is going to be pretty cool. This is the F3. It's the uh, 11711 series. So this is not the post-war. This is the modern era, but these are going to be cool. So the question is, is it going to be the blue Santa Fe's that match what we showed before with the B unit, or is it going to be the other Santa Fe color, which is the silver, red, and gold, or silver, red, and black? Okay, first of all, it's turned over the wrong way. This box is beat up badly, so I want to be careful. Let's take a look at these. All right. First piece. It's the silver ones. Really, really. I, this is like one of the most popular looks. That's the B unit right there. And again, this is not post-war. It's modern, but it's still pretty cool. That's what the B unit looks like with the silver, red, and black. Put this here. That's the B, so I know which goes where B unit. The next one is the A unit. Incredibly beautiful engine. Incredibly beautiful. Look at that right there. Look at the color pattern on that. The red hood with the silver Santa Fe across the top. Again, you can tell the ornamentation. So this was made when Lionel took back control of the company, but the metal horns on top, the the uh, the metal ladders, the vents on top of the engine. That is really, really pretty. I'll put that right there. And the last piece. Man, this is a dirty day with the box. Got the, got the vacuum after this one. Get a little scrap out of here. And the last one is the other A unit. So this is an ABA configuration. This one's the dummy unit. It's a lot less heavy than the other one. At least I think it is. I think this is the motorized unit. Yeah, this one is much heavier than this one. So this would be ABA. And I'll, again, I'll show you. We talked about it two videos ago, but I'll show you the ABA configuration. All right. So now I'm going to lay these out all so you can see everything that's in this box. And then we'll go to the valuing um, portion of the show. Okay, so here we go. We're going to have to value on this one. We have the Jersey Central Fairbanks Morse. Beautiful looking engine. We have a Santa Fe B unit again that doesn't do anything, but I think it's got the uh, the, the whistle in there, the uh, the horn in there. I have to look and see on that when I do the research. We have a Southern Fairbanks Morse. Beautiful engine. And it's Pennsylvania, which has really got a cool, a cool green color with the gold lettering. And then we have, of course, the ABA Santa Fe. Not the post-war era. This is the modern era, but it's still a great-looking engine with the silver, black, and red. That's it. I'm going to value it now and go through the whole thing. Um, thank you very much for watching. So that's it, the cleanup. Not as fun as taking stuff out of the boxes. Hope you enjoyed the uh, show today. And um, see you next time on What's in the Box. What's in the Box? Thank you.